channel. If you're new here, I'm Sia. And I'm Romario. And today we're going to do an accent wall for you guys, a DIY accent wall. It's gonna look really cool. It's not like the one, not exactly like the one in the living room, but it's kind of similar. Baby, you look so excited. Tell them what we got. All right, so, so we're gonna be using some paints. Yes. It's gonna be interior. This is um flat interior. Uh, we got it painted a peacock green. Yes, so that will be the base of the wall. Yep, and then so we got the slats and uh in the truck right now. So mm -hmm. we're gonna bring that up afterwards because we had to clean out this whole room and we needed space inside of our living room. So when yep. we're finished painting the wall, then we're gonna go get the um the slats and bring it up. But in the beginning, um ew. We went to Lowe's and could put a little snippet there as to how the slats look. Um, it's the same as our last video as mentioned that we did in our living room. So if you haven't seen that video, we're going to clip it. Right here, somewhere. right here. Yeah, right there, somewhere. So <laughs> you can click that and watch it. That's how our living room looks with the slat wall. And a lot of people really loved it. Yes, we've got a lot of great feedback for it. From a lot. It, so. Thank you guys for that. We're still enjoying it. We're still loving it. We decided to take it into our office. Yes, indeed. And slash thank you guys. guest room slash <laughs> everything room. Yeah, no, because it's our craft room sometimes too. Yeah, we're, it, we're giving it a full on makeover. Right. So stay tuned for that video as well. And if you're new, please subscribe. And yes. Welcome to our channel, guys. Yes, and if you're excited to see how the room turns out, make sure you smash that like button mm -hmm. and let us know what you think. Yep, so we're gonna get straight to it. We already wiped down the walls. Yep. Um, because there must have been a lot of dust in there because we work with a lot of dust. Yes. Yep. Um, so, <laughs> so we started to do the... Let me see. I move this. We started to do some of the... Um, Taping of the walls. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you should use the thicker ones because it's easier. Um, you don't have to do double of this. Mm -hmm. But listen, we're trying to be cost effective, or yeah. cost efficient, and yeah, the tape does cost a good amount. So not really a good amount, but you know, it's bread. It's, it's pricey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna use what we have. We already had a lot of these from past projects, so why buy more? We're just gonna use this and double it. Yeah. We're actually doing two walls in here. So we're doing this main wall with the slats and we're doing another wall, same color, uh, with some shelves, so. Yes, and let's get to it. Yeah, we got a night ahead of us. Yeah, um, and then we want to be dedicated to this. It's 5, 518 right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did get a lot done today. We cleaned out the room, yeah. we Here's wiped a, the walls. a little quick snippet of what the room looked like before. Yes, it is a mess. We agree. But it won't look like this after it's done. You can see the walls. We're going to redo the walls and everything. I'm going to redo that. All right. Yeah, y'all see that. So that took a lot of work. But now on to part two. Now on to part two. Let's get it. See ya. Okay. Y'all are about to open up the paint. I'm so excited to see it. Look at the little color right there. Let's get ready for this. Shit. No, no, no. You no, think no. that I don't know shit about shit? That's not the case. <laughs> That's 
that's really not the case. <laughs> you prove me, um, you prove certain things to me that I just have to make sure sometimes. <laughs> no, you, you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> that is crazy because it definitely should be the other way around. I mean, heck, what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? Listen, I don't know everything. I don't even know why the heck we did that. What? We're not done with anything. <laughs> <laughs> See? And that was you! Yeah, because I was thinking about getting into painting. Okay, well, we gotta finish this. But also this painting. Don't forget to put tape over your roller so you can take off all the, ex the extra lint. So, we brought all the wood up from downstairs, from the truck, it's time to start cutting the wood. But we decided to go with random cuts for all the wood. Um, and we'll show you guys where the inspiration came from. But all, of, all the wood is just gonna cut, um, be cut randomly. And each end of the, um, so one full length, once it's cut, whatever the other piece is, the other lengths will just go to the top. One will be on the wall, um, one, one will be on the wall, one will be on the ceiling. And that's how it's gonna go. So, what I would advise if you're gonna do this is mark the back of each one of them with the same number, so when you cut it, you know exactly what's the other piece um, to it. So when you start moving it around from one room to the next, there wouldn't be any confusion as to where's the other end of this stick. So, and I would just probably see to cut it. I mean, yeah, cut it and try to make keep it as organized as possible because of course it's 46 lengths. So it's gonna be easy to misplace one of them in the, in the pile. So um, as I go with this, well, as we go with this, let's see how, how best we could keep it organized. And I guess we, we're gonna learn tricks along the way. So come along with us. Let's get to the next stop. Uh, Sia is actually in the room right now. I'll take you out to see her. She's finishing the second wall. Let me show you guys what she's up to. I'm over here. Yeah, she's right here. Still taking this wall, but I'm almost done. I'm almost done, y'all. She's doing that while I tackle the, the other side. Teamwork That's a factorial. All right, so she's gonna be done and she's gonna start painting the side and we're gonna move on. So we'll keep you all posted guys. Yes. <laughs> all right gang, so we're gonna use a mitosaur to cut uh, these lengths. Um, if you don't have a mitosaur, 
So if you don't have a miter saw, you can use a hand saw. And honestly, if you don't want to use a hand saw to cut each one of them, um, you can go and rent a miter saw from Home Depot. So you can keep that in mind. All right, so time to start cutting them. I think the best approach is to to mark one, cut it, mark it, cut it, mark it, cut it, and go that way. Um, because actually, I can mark a few. But the idea for that is because I don't want to, I mean, I want to inspect each one of them before I mark it. So might as well inspect it in terms of fi figuring out which side I want to use as the front, the facing arm part. I'll mark it, then cut it, then inspect the other one, mark it, and, and then cut it instead of inspecting each one of them to mark it and then going that way. Um, I just want to get to cutting them faster. It's getting dark over here. so. All right, I'm about to get to it, guys. Okay, so here we are. Here's where we are right now. Um, so I got to the um, 30 mark, so we got 16 left. Um, each one of them are marked on both sides, as I mentioned before, and they're cut randomly. So the way I, I'm keeping track of them are just stacking them on top of each other. So 30, 30, 29, 29, uh, 28, 20, 28, 28, and uh, 20, 26, 26, and so on and so forth. Just keeping track of them by stacking them on top of each other. So when it's ready to move, they're, they're, going, they're going to go with their counterparts. So 16 left. Time to keep going and finishing the last stretch. Okay. This is how far we've gotten so far. And she's gotten very far, honestly. Almost look, done. Look at that, guys. She's killing it, yo. <laughs> and it's just this side to finish up. She did all the top, most of the top. It's just a small section on the other end. And then that's it. All right, baby! <laughs> Uh, Aren't you so proud of me? Heck yeah, crazy proud. I love it. She killing it, son. This, all of this is hers. All her. All her, yo. The tape and everything. <laughs> yeah, she got this. Sending that work. Facts. I told you I'm gonna show them that I'll be doing the work too. I don't know. I ain't doubt you. You know, it was one of these videos they always see what's up. They all see what's up. <laughs> I'm sweating. Yeah, that's the stuff. I'm All sweating right. at the big wall. Uh -huh. All right, the last stretch. All right, guys. I'm shining, y'all. <laughs> We're about to finish up and yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all to show y'all how it looks. Um, well, you know. Probably when we come back, it will be the next step to put the slats up on the wall. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to have dinner before or after, <laughs> but we'll see. You but hungry? Not really. I'm really not hungry, oh. but I'm like, it's close to dinner time. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Catch y'all. See y'all soon. Later. Guys. We're on the next step. We're on the next step. It is like five hours later. Yeah, so a lot of time has passed. Yeah, it took some time to paint these walls, um, chop up these slats, um, but now it's time to put them on the wall. Yep, we got all of them laid on the floor over here. We're about to get, a, about to get the command strips. Actually, I can show y'all. We got these from Home D. We got these from Walmart. We got these from Walmart. Let's see if this thing works though. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a 30, it's a 12. Yeah, these are 12. Um, 12 pairs. And it's good for 16 pounds. We've got some from Amazon as well. And I think it was a better deal if I'm not mistaken. It's 30, it's two packs of 34 pairs for $50. And each one of these, which is 12 packs, is, $9 each, right? $10. is around $10 each. It's $10 each for these. 
I just want to make sure it was a good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a good deal. It was a good. And we forgot to say that we have, we have at least six. No, we have eight, eight foot lengths of the slats that's left uncut, and we're gonna use the full length on the sides of each wall. Um, and we have two foot. We have two foot lengths that's cut as well <coughs> from other ones that we that we cut up. And we're just gonna use this on a top on a ceiling, and then the um the eight foot lengths towards the side of the wall to fill it up. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> y'all see it. All right, guys. It's the following day, and we. This is what we got to last night. Uh, we stopped because it was late, and it was making a lot of noise. We decided to go with putting nails into the top of each one that's on the wall, and also a nail that's um, at the edge of each one that's on the ceiling. And I could show you guys how it looks, but. We decided to do that because the double side sticky tape wasn't necessarily sticking on the way we would have liked it to. So we tried a new approach and that's by wiping down the, and which is what we should have done already um, initially. We wiped the, the piece of wood where we're gonna put the tape um, so we could have, a, I guess, better adhesiveness. Um, and practically we we're just trying to wipe away the dust that would, uh, that would cause the tape to not stick properly to the wood. Um, but nonetheless, we're since um, these are gonna be on the ceiling, for more security, we're putting the nails because we're also gonna be sitting, we're gonna be sitting um, right under them. So honestly, um, better safe than sorry is, <laughs> is the approach, so. And we have a nail gun. And, and also you can, I'm almost sure you can rent this from Home Depot as well if you don't have one um, of your own. I believe, like we just got it recently and it costs probably $170 and you get the nail gun along with, and I'll show you guys. You get a nail gun and a tank, a compressor. So, and this is the craft. We got the, I believe this is a 16 gauge if I'm not mistaken, but I'm gonna post it in a chat. I'm gonna post it in a link below if you guys are interested in getting one yourselves. It's, it comes in very handy. And as mentioned, you can barely see the nail, but it's just one nail at the edge of each one of them, just for stability. And it's also one nail to the top of the ones that's on the wall itself, just so it could stay up there. You barely see it. I would like to say this is still rental friendly. I'd like to say that this is still rental friendly only because it's very small holes in a wall and you can barely see it. 
Um, but if it's something that's noticeable, in the end, we can just, like when we're moving, we're just gonna plaster it up. And honestly, we'll show you guys how we're gonna clear it up, um, how we're gonna patch it up as well. So if you, if you guys choose to go this route putting the nails, then you will see, you guys will get to see how we're gonna patch it up if necessary. But nonetheless, we're gonna continue doing this, um, finishing this wall and we will show you guys the process. We'll continue showing you guys the process and I also wanted to show you guys that when we put it in, when we put these in, we make sure to leave a spacing. Like we have a dummy stick that we use. We just have a, we have an extra length that we used right, right here. We put this up, we, have a, we put a spacing it's gonna be an inch and a half in between. And now so we also put it to the top. So um, we put this one in first, put the one on the wall in first, and then put the one on the ceiling. We leave the spacing for the, the one on the ceiling to go into the side, to go into the back of it. Um, and this is just for more, more safety for the ones that's on the ceiling. Um, because of course those are the ones we got to pay more attention to because it could fall You know has more potential to fall and hurt someone who's under it. So that was our You know go around with making more security for the ones that's on the ceiling and as I said we putting nails We, we put nails on the ends of each one of the ones uh, each one that's on the ceiling as well. So the nail that's on the one on the wall, along with the one, um, along with this support, and the nail that's in the end, that's more than more than enough security to keep the ones on the ceiling um, there for a long term. Just wanted to show you guys that. Also, just want to mention to you guys that for some of the command strips, since it wasn't sticking, since it's not sticking properly to the wood. Um, what we're going to try is putting some spray bond. It's just for extra adhesiveness. Uh, we haven't tried it yet, but it's just an idea and we'll just let you guys know how it works. And if it works perfect, heck, we're going to recommend it all the way. But it's really to spray this on the wood or spray it behind the, um, the command strip to see if it adds more adhesiveness to it and keep it stuck to the wood long enough for months on end, if not years. So let's see how it goes. Thank you. 
So we're going to put on another addition to these walls and that is LED lights. These are eco lights and we got them from Lowe's. Um, it's a pack of six and they're controlled by a control, <laughs> by a controller. Um, so you can pick them up if you guys like them. They're very bright. They change colors. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to install them here on the wall well, on the ceiling rather. And all I'm gonna do is put a screw into the ceiling and let it attach to this magnet in the back. It shouldn't have too much vibration or anything um, on the ceiling, so it shouldn't necessarily move. And for extra security, I'm gonna also put a um, double side sticky tape, well, command strip onto it as well, just for, just for extra um, safety to keep it up there. But we're gonna start installing them. We're gonna install them six inches away from the wall. I already left a mark. I'm gonna flip you guys. I already left a mark here to put a screw into the ceiling. And then I'm just gonna put this up there to hold it. So I'm gonna make the I'm gonna put a screw in and I'll show you guys how it looks. And I'll just show you guys when I put this on it so y'all know how it how it attaches. Alright, so stay tuned. All right, so the screw is in the ceiling. I made it flush to the wood. And again, these have magnets at the back. So all you gotta do is put it up there and it stays. But again, I'm just gonna put a piece of command strip right here and stick it to the wood while it sticks to the magnet, um, to the screw on the wall as well. So for whatever reason, you know, we're in California, so I know there's earthquakes so for if something was to happen it would still have the adhesiveness to keep it on the ceiling for extra strength so i'm gonna do uh, four of them across the top of the ceiling uh there goes see i don't know if she wants y'all to see her hey hi guys <laughs> i'm trying to edit a video for you guys but my computer is acting like shh. yeah so she's going through it right now um, but nonetheless, I'll make her happy by putting these things up. <laughs> for sure. So stay tuned guys for the end result of having all four lights on the ceiling. And again, it's a pack of six. We're going to actually put two at the bottom of shelves. That's over there. Yay. That looks so cool on camera. Yeah. Uh -huh. See you guys soon, guys. And this is it guys, all four lights are up and this is how it looks. Yo, what a vibe. Mm -hmm. Baby, show them how it hurts. All right, hold on, I got to touch them. Hold on, we got a little red action. Mm -hmm. We got a little green action. Mm -hmm. Maybe we got a little blue. And then we got that, that vibe, that change colors vibe. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And again, you guys could get this at Lowe's. It's Eco Lights. Hit up Lowe's, because these are fire. And it's a pack of six. Look at that. Oh, it's blue different plant babies. Look at that. That is such a vibe. You know, I recently saw online that it said you should have at least six points of light in a room. That's what um, designers say to make a good room. There should be six points of light. 
Well, we got that. We got that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check. All right, guys. So, yeah. That looks so crazy. Oh, you decided to stay on camera, so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, guys. That's you know we probably have just too much shops to put up, and once that's done, then I guess we will have the full room set. No, we won't. Guys, we will have we have a lot more to come. So stay tuned. All right, catch you all in a bit.